today. Um, obviously, a very, very exciting day for us. It's uh, what we've been working for for a very long time. We're really, really proud to, to, to be here. The Aquatic Center is a project that I think everyone in this room understands how important this is, not only uh, to this area, but this whole part of West Virginia. Um, it's it's going to bring a heck of a lot of really positive change um, and improve lives in, in a lot of ways. It's amazing to think about this project, you know, not quite five years ago, was just a student project at Green Murray's High School um, and how far it's come in the time since all the work that the board and all of our supporters have put in to make this a uh, reality. We have over 330 supporters and donors to this project. That represents more than 1,100 people for uh, a community like this that's, that's really outstanding. And we've made a heck of a lot of progress and we couldn't be more proud to have Governor Justice with us here today. And, uh, he'll be making an announcement, and we're very much looking forward to the next phase of the Aquatic Center. So uh, with that, I'll turn the floor over to Governor Justice. Well, Jamie, uh, I've known Jamie a long time, and, uh, you know, he's done a lot of good work. But uh, this is home to me, home to all of you probably. and. We, we value our homes, whether it may be anywhere in this great state. Now, you've been working on this project a long time. I mean, there's been a lot, a lot of people that have put in licks. And we all know how important it is, but it's always the, steep, the, always the steepest part of the mountain. You ever know, notice where the steepest part of the mountain is? It's always near the top, isn't it? It always is. You start climbing and climbing and climbing as you're going up and everything. It's not too awful bad. And then all of a sudden it gets really tough. And most of the time, we slide down. And then we try again maybe from time to time, but a lot of times, lots and lots of times we don't make it. Now with all that being said, the good part about what we're going to do today is just this, is we're going to make it today. And, and we're going to make it because we need to make it. We need to make it first and foremost because of an idea that was spawned with a bunch of kids. Really and truly, just a bunch of kids. And we should, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Mine will go off in just a minute. Like That's the least we need to worry about today. You know, but an idea that was spawned with a bunch of kids maybe, and then from there, you know, you, as you've done so often, 300 plus of you, have jumped in and dug and dug and dug. And now, you've hit the steep part. And so, now in our situation, in our state, and all for all the good that we can do, you know, and I don't want, I don't want to miss anybody because whether you be Jamie or our commissioners or your board or all the great people of this wonderful county and, 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 and others from all probably across the globe that have done great stuff, great, great, great stuff to give us the opportunity to bring all kinds of benefits, you know, from the benefits of wellness more than anything, you know, from the benefits of just prosperity and economic growth and everything that goes with it, you know. Now we got a real shot. And so, I don't know, oh, here it is. I know where, where it is, but so today, you know, through, and, there, and I'm, I, I got one note, because I want to make sure that I get this exactly right. And I don't speak for notes, so you got to forgive me. But, let me get this right. I have, I have for a good while, I have been looking for a way, if there is funding in, at the government level for projects like this. You know, so we looked and we looked and we looked. You know, there's AML dollars and all that kind of stuff, you didn't qualify. You know, there's all kinds of different areas and buckets here and there and everything, and you couldn't qualify, you couldn't qualify, you couldn't qualify. You couldn't qualify. And so finally, Finally, somebody comes up with the idea, and this is why I want to get this right. There is a West Virginia Infrastructure Jobs Development Council, 
And so sounds like a normal government name. It's got 50 things to it. <laughs> but that body was created by the West Virginia legislature to manage and facilitate funding for infrastructure and other projects on the governor's behalf. So that gave us a window right there. And so what we've got to do now is the governor's got to make a recommendation for the funding, and then the board's got to approve it. And I hope to goodness the board will approve this and everything, but today my recommendation is right here in this check, and that's for $2 million. And that $2 million with the $4 million you got, it puts you there. So that's it. Thank you enough for all you do each and every day. This is going to be great, great for our community, great for all of us in there, and it may even get a few pounds off me somewhere. <laughs> so, Jamie, we to make two million dollars. <laughs> I mean, this is big. This is really good. We can't thank really you enough for it. Okay. Very, very proud of all of you. Way thank to you. go. Thank thank you. Everybody. Thanks so much. for the uh, shop drawings for this steel structure. Uh, Lynch Corporation is scheduled to begin May 1st on site development work. Uh, the steel will be scheduled to arrive in July, be under roof by November, by Thanksgiving. The pools and the interior will be built and we plan to be swimming next summer. That's the program. insightful comments. As we think about economic development in West Virginia, and a lot of us spend a lot of time doing that and talking about it, uh, it's clear to me that businesses want to locate where people want to live. And that's something of a change. Um, when I was a child, people in West Virginia drove to wherever the jobs were, whether it's Cleveland or Detroit or wherever it was. But the world has changed, and Amazon and other folks have proven that, that the businesses are looking to come to the places where people want to live. And I think the Aquatic Center is just one of those pieces for this community that makes us a more desirable place to live, along with the health benefits and safety benefits and so forth. So that's, that's the lesson I want to preach this morning. And I think that any community in West Virginia, I would like to think that any community in West Virginia that would focus on something that they think enhances their community and figures it out and raises over two-thirds of the money, that the state would be there to help them climb, climb to the summit. But that's, that's what we've done here, and I'm, we're all very proud of it. Thank you all for your support.